Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Alan Wake 2. Last time we cleared out this hotel, discovered the horrific story of what happened here, and learned that Alice, even though she did in fact make it out, is nevertheless still in serious danger. So now we've got to get out of here and, well, hopefully link back up with, uh, with Saga. She has the clicker, and that seems to be our only chance. You know, there have been a number of horror games that have used alternate realities and fantasy worlds and manipulated realities to tell a, a lot of different stories and go for a lot of different visual styles. But never have I played one that makes those things still feel so I impactful and relevant. Doing so in a way that it still feels like a natural part of the story and not just an excuse to show you these different ideas. But as with the previous, as with the previous foray into this world, we've got to, we've got to make our way back to the apartment again. Parliament Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Well, let's go then. Huh, was this open before? Or did I just not notice it? Don't forget to use the janitor's bucket to alternate between characters. Okay, um, see the thing is, I'm not sure when it wants me to do that. Like, I don't know if now would be an appropriate time to go back and forth. I'm really interested in knowing... ...how those things actually mesh in a way that jives with continuity. Hello. Was this story point here before? Hang on, we need to find the right angle to look at you from. Is one of those other things right here? I, had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation. ...to change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. In loving memory of Alan Wake... 1977 to 2010. All covered in blood. That's the thing. I have no idea just what level this is all meant for me, or to what level I'm actually controlling this. But if we make our way inside, maybe we can learn something new again. Initiation 6. Uh, well, she's back here once more. And I'm assuming, like, we assume Scratch is tormenting her, but how do we know that when we go back to the apartment, we're not the visions that she's seeing? And what we're hearing aren't her reactions to us intruding. Hang on, wait. The layout's different. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Uh, those are some of the death screens. What else is here? What else can we learn? Uh, from Barry Wheeler. I was wondering when we were going to hear from him. Uh, May 9th, 2023. Hey, Alice. 
everything good with you back home? I'm just checking in. Tried to call, but couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. And I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business related to your exhibition, just say the word. Your pal, Barry. I'll handle it from March 28th. Hey, Alice. Shark circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie or TV show. And get this. A video game. I told them to piss off. We're, we're reaching levels of meta that shouldn't even be possible. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al. I hunted down her publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Uh, checking in in 2022. Hey, Alice. Checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in non-stop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono? I've considered peeing in a mug and forget lunches. How these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. <laughs> joined a cult! Hey Alice, you're gonna think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I've joined a cult and I love it. Joking about it being a cult. Kind of. Blessed wellness retreat. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat. Best decision I ever made. I've never felt this good and, well, healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a miracle worker. Not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of it, but I've lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here, that something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me. Enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut. You know, from this, I can't really figure out just how much you actually remember. I hope you're good over there. Come visit me anytime. West Coast isn't as bad as I made it sound in my earlier emails. <laughs> and from all the way back in 21... Hey, Alice. I'm more of a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything is so great all the time, even when it's in fact the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights for the Casey books, and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tan zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware of how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply. For good reason. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on another video call now to talk about casting. Uh, I was hoping we'd get to see him in person, but I suppose this is fine, too. Was this left for us? For months after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion. shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. He still checks in. Even after he moved out west. I had noted in the first one that even after everything, he was actually a really good friend, and 
Well, it seems like his legacy continues. That is so good to hear. These are all visions that flash before us when we die. Alice's work had consumed the apartment her whole life. We need to get back to her. I mean, if anything, to save her from what her life became. If anything, just to make the separation clean. Uh, just need to show a glimpse. Make you see what's beneath the surface. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. The horror of caring. Part three, the search. In the dark. Clarity is purpose. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. Somehow, the fact that they never stopped thinking about me almost makes me feel worse, you know? Like, uh, like I almost wish they had moved on. A square on bare wall with nothing but a post-it note. All over, in fact. Perhaps where something is meant to go? in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that that vast paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Meanwhile, that lamp is flickering in the background. But as I suspected, once more, coming here yields more answers about what's been going on in our absence. But I have to wonder if these aren't things that we're writing, or if it's something that Scratch wants to show us just to hurt us more. No boundaries. Be ruthless. That's what you said about the pain of caring. Manuscript of a novel. Return. 
A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. So over and over again, you're being seemingly killed by Scratch. But then again, we saw you scratching out the author. Uh, it's weird. I'm starting to wonder to what extent Scratch isn't just an extension of yourself rather than an extension of the Dark Presence and the thing in the lake. Not to mention, what we're seeing here is that Saga isn't something that you just came up with off the top of your head. I mean, you're changing her story. All parts seem to acknowledge that. However, you saw her in visions, which led you to write her, which led her down this path, which leads her to you, which leads you to her, which it's almost it's almost like a recursive loop. Now, that word recursive, getting a lot of uh, mileage lately. But we're not done yet. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going straight back to Saga in a second, as soon as we can. You stop me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Yeah, yeah. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. But presumably he already has, or at least partially, right? Uh, all right, uh, we do still have some uh, words of power to cash in, if I can find the right spot to stand. Uh, words of stuff. I would really like this. Uh, marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map would be good. But... Mm, all of this is really, really good. I do a lot of searching on my own. I'm going to expand the inventory space. And word of war. Uh, increased double barrel shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Uh, and goes around, restores 15% of max health. Hmm. I'm going to take this just to spread our stuff around. Interestingly enough, this board here actually shows all the maps we've collected of the spaces within the dark place. So that's kind of cool. All right, uh, plot board. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of scratch. Part three, return. Uh, things were getting worse at home. Alice's art project had consumed the apartment. She was obsessed with darkness, with finding the truth. All she would find was Scratch. I had to get to the writer's room behind my study door. I needed the truth, too. I needed return. Closer and closer. Scratch is also closer. Zane has said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. This place is just gradually flooding. Masks. 
Well, as much as I'd like to go talk to Mr. Door and see what's in store for us on our next appearance. Oh man, it couldn't be Conan next. Uh, I am trying to alternate between episodes, so I think it's time to go pay a visit to Saga. And she returns back to Bright Falls with the clicker. Well, let's just casually stroll on out of here. Oh, nobody pay any mind to the crossbow I found. Hi! Hi. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I really did like it here in Watery. The folks seem nice. It's got good atmosphere. So quiet now. Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. What happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? And you can always count on them for some good philosophical musings. Uh, but we really gotta go. Uh, let's head to... Come on. Hello? Do we lose the ability to get into our own car? Thank you. Bright Falls, next stop. This game has the best loading screens on top of the best everything else. Here we are. The sun is setting. Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Oh no. A daylight raid. What the unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <laughs> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground. And I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! Oh, you're going to pay for that. FBI! We want the writer! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! Shit. Hey, what are you doing? Well, at least some things never change.
no chance. What happened to us? They're all dead. This place just looks like the hotel. What the fuck? Hold it, freeze. I had escaped the dark place. So with the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I gotta get out of here. So much for making this a saga episode. I I'm really starting to think that the difference between Alan and Scratch is... Well, it's not as much of a brick wall as I would have liked to believe. Oh, look at this. Can we find a weapon or something, or do we even want there to be a weapon in the hands of Alan? To find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. You say that. Oh, we can't get outside. Maybe try, maybe try their rooms? No, it's all blocked off. Is there a back door or something? Oh, maybe we can go out through the kitchen. The cultists weren't the only victims. And they really came at this place with a lot of people. I need to protect myself. Maybe they're not wrong in trying to do so. Gun and flashlight. How nostalgic. But only two shells to work with. The fight's moved into the woods behind the place. Uh, we're gonna have to look around to see if we can't find something more. That's Casey. He was still alive. Well, let's try and keep it that way. Good thing you have experience. Come on. Oh! Uh, we've no more flashlight. We've no more flashlight because it can't just it can't just actually make use of the charge. Nope. We have no choice but to run, really. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, go, 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 go. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Oh, but everything's gonna be faster than us. At least that's how it was in the dark place. Go. Go, go, go. Make it to safe haven. Make it to safe haven. That was all we had. Lucky us. Get, get, get all that, get all that, get all that. Is it even worth bothering with you? These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the dark presence not discriminate? I'm mostly guessing it's the second one. Right, if we leave, can we ignore you, or will you hone right in on us? I can hear you out here, and I can hear that familiar roar. But you're still stalking about out here. I don't have enough ammo for this. Go, 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 go. Into the light, into the light, into the light. The pressure in my head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. Now we've got... We might have to kill you. That's one down. And the other one immediately knows where we are, so let's just keep on moving. Uh, at least we've been of some help now. Valhalla Nursing Home! Run! No, 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 it's not the time! Get up. Get up, there's one right behind us, a big one. Pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Shit. 
Casey, I'm coming. <sighs> Casey. So much for that pressure easing off, huh? Investigation. The case has been transferred to us. Not anymore, you're not. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait, my partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it. Agent, I should be go home. Careful, moving quick. They think he's a para utilitarian. No, fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. So, for the first time in the franchise, the cavalry is here, and it's not a good thing. If only because, well, even though it's their job to research this stuff, and some of you have told me that uh, these guys are actually expanded more on in control, they just don't have the relevant information. They just don't understand that only the involved parties can put an end to this. Or at least, the only ones who can bring what passes to a safe end to this. Uh, well, I've completed like three chapters here, but uh, while I usually allot two hours to an episode, I've only been recording for like half an hour. So I guess we're going to be doing a bit more here. Tor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Clever. Uh, talk to the Andersons, go to the Valhalla nursing home. Hang on, let's have a look at our map. Where are we? Uh, this always continues to impress. We are still on the same map, technically. Uh, this game is just so cool. This game is so cool, you guys. Have I said that enough in this playthrough? Uh, but even aside from looking at the map, we do still have the case board to fill out. Or an Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. It's also my only lead. Their insane ramblings in the first game were really the best sources of knowledge, so... I mean, it's gotta be the same again, right? Ilmo Kaskela attacked Wake wearing a deer mask. I mean, we already knew he was involved, but... I mean, it, we're starting to see not all of them are taken when they're acting in this way. We've also confirmed our earlier theory. They are after Alan as well, and it's probably because of his status as an emergee from the lake. Hello? Saga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking hag. Fuck. Are they in trouble? Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. That certainly seems to be the case, however, knowing them, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just like one of their nightly bingo bar fights. 
I'm, I'm just so happy to see those guys thriving in particular, you know? But we've got to get over there just in case they are actually in danger. I had speculated that maybe the nursing home had become uh, Dr. Hartman's, uh, what, what became Dr. Hartman's lodge, but well, from the picture, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Another manuscript page. Maybe we can learn what's waiting for us ahead. The Valhalla Nursing Home. Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame. For them, not by them. Years. Built after the return comeback tour. Flip-flop to be their farewell tour. Cut short. Cancelled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance lays the demon. A couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. And as this franchise demands, back once more into the woods. Oh, just who I did not want to see again. Ow. I'm actually still not entirely sure if we can kill you, so, uh... I'd really like it if you... No, 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 you're over there. More than one, or are you just stalking expertly? Well, you can certainly bleed. I'm not sure if the light is actually, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything we need. There we go. Oh, never mind. Yep. More than one. More than one. Oh, the way these things stalk is so creepy. They try to avoid coming at us head on. And they're legitimately slippery, moving mostly out of our view. All right, well, there's a lunchbox over yonder. And we need it. Can we perhaps get those bolts back? Thank you. Huh. And unlike all the other games that seem to expand from their predecessors, now this one isn't having us skin them for crafting materials. How refreshing. Alright, where's that lunchbox? Hidden over here somewhere. Just gotta follow the charms. And another lunchbox. Or bees. We really should get in, in there and upgrade our firearms. Just then, I suddenly slammed into something that felt like a sturdy, well-built brick wall. I almost fell, but a strong arm grabbed me by the waist. I hardly knew what was happening. A voice reached through my confused, frightened haze like an outstretched hand. A gruff, manly voice. The deep, reassuring voice reassured me. Don't you worry, miss. I've got this. I looked up just in time to see the monster barreling through the forest at us. Just then, a blast. The monster went down like an elderly person who had lost their cane. I looked up at my savior and saw a handsome face with dark hair. He wore a stylish tweed jacket and held up a smoking pistol. Looks like I got here just in time, he said. He smiled at me and my heart fluttered like a bird. Are you writing Alan Wake fanfiction? Cause I'm here for that. I'll say, I thought to myself. Oh, that's another lunchbox tacked down. Okay, what did this sign over here say? To the ranger cabin and to the nursing home. Well, if there's a ranger cabin, then we'll probably be able to find some resources, right? Uh campsite over here too and a campsite means taken yes i'm pressing the button but it's not broadcasting that green light is supposed to be red which light this one here donna's grandson wrote down instructions for me but i, I can't for the life of me remember where i put them you sure you're not on the air yeah green means off red means on or was it no that's right I well, we're hearing it, so... Have you tried just mashing all these buttons? Oh, raspberries, that, that's... Which button did you press? This one right here. Nope, that wasn't it. I'm gonna call Donna's grandson. 
Girl. That girl drowned in Cauldron Lake. Wrong. That was the Anderson girl. Different girl. Can we please focus on making the green light red? What about this button here with the sticky note that says on off? Yes, that's the one. Okay, let's press that and see if it... <laughs> These things, even for all the nonsense, usually do contain something important. A bunker. Not to mention people once again repeating the story of what happened to Logan, which we still have no idea. We haven't been able to get in touch and find out if that's actually come to pass or not. But I almost get the impression that the more it's repeated, the more likely it is to be true. Here are those floodwaters rising still. I mean, that's been kind of a that's been kind of a thing for this entire game, right? The the waters are rising, and we're just trying to keep our heads above until we can do what we need to. Also, honestly, Pat is the saddest character in this game by far. I mean, he was so sharp in the first game, and the There's thing is, the it's not even like he's completely lost it. He's just not all there anymore. But it's like a wall between his sharpness and what's being lost. Like, he's still able to handle some things so eloquently, and other things, it's like, it's just blank to him, and he's so frustrated by that. It's, it's really horribly realistic, especially considering what the rest of the game is like. I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. But it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> and they've circled thought. Oh. Actually, no, back there. We we really have to upgrade our gun. Look at all those upgrade points. Uh, we can upgrade the crossbow. Fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. That could be very useful. Hmm. It's between, it's between the first and the third. I think we'll go for that one. The of the shotgun rang in the air. Oh, here they come. Great, 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 great. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Yep. Behind this tree. Where are they? Uh, yeah, this is going to be a job for the shotgun for sure. Oh, I hate you guys. You're fast. And you have ranged attacks. And a, we go. And you split. Which is not what I want. No, 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 no. no. Switch to the... Switch to your... Primary. Nope. And uh, these leaves just kept getting in my way. I couldn't see what I was doing. Uh, but thankfully, once you go down, you are down for good. And we don't need to burn a second charge on the one that splits off. That is such a weird new feature. But it's kind of cool. Adds an unexpected element to gameplay. Let's just go to the pistol for you. Come on. I can't hit that thing when it's on your back like that. Sometimes we have to not care. This is really costing us a good amount of ammo. Come on. Four headshots he took before he went down. Yeah, endless people. It's happening again. Yeah, no, the path goes down there. I can't... I can't get through to this. Actually, wait. I just thought to try something. It just hadn't occurred to me. So if we, say, go to quick slot U, I put you, like, in here, 4, and now I bet if I double tap 4... Okay, okay. I hadn't realized that you could do that. 
but it makes sense based on the UI, and that is actually really, really helpful. Uh, I was just thinking in the last part, like, uh, the reason I haven't tried is because it wasn't a problem until now, but I was just thinking in the last part, there's just not enough quick slots. Turns out, uh, there actually are. And here they come. Just great. Yep. Okay, you know what? Thank you for diving into the way like you were jealous he was getting all the attention. Because you going down first is actually better for me. Oh, come on. I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to hit you like that. Nope. Ow. Really annoying when I dodge and it hits me anyway. Just dumped. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Come on. Oh, you're both moving like that. Oh, I can't even tell. Is it going down again? I can't... I can't tell how many there are. I can't tell whether... The damage is being lost. Oh, that's one. And two. And now you're giving me my pity party, which, honestly, I really needed. Left with more than before. Yeah, things get really, really hairy when there's more than one of the speedy guys. But I don't want to go wasting my shotgun shells either when I know I have to fire on you from a distance. Look at these environments. This has got to be some of the best-looking forest ever in a game. But our salvation peeks at us through the trees. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. There's the bus left in front. We spoke to the driver just before. Hmm. And another one of those campaign stands. So this is such classic, like, Long Island, honestly. Having the institution be in its historical home, but the more modern building right beside it where the actual administration is done. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Setter the sitter. Of course, uh, in small towns like this, voting for the incumbent, they usually do a little more than sit. Let's have a look around first. Uh, I have a feeling the inside is going to be a total horror show. Also, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I think it is so cool how they've chosen with the art direction to have most of these levels take place during the day. But we spend so much time in the forest and in dark places that it almost doesn't matter. Uh, the power's out. These doors aren't going to open, are they? Nope. Uh, but the fact that no one's around, especially after... Uh, especially after this all came so obviously onto the streets of the town itself... Uh, this whole place is officially in crisis now. No more hiding it. No more... No more veneer of small town normalcy. We can even try the doorbell. Huh. Just getting the... Oh! Saga? Rose? What's up? Uh, I'm here to see Tor and Odin? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know... Tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Tor actually called me over. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, 
they had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Wow, that was easy. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. So do I. I always oh my... dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. Saga, you are you so my co-commentator. Like here. Hmm. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. This is the what kind of place I want to retire. Is... Where are your clothes? I'm I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Sure thing. Torrent Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Uh, you were you were knitting during the show. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. <laughs> well, have you, uh, have you seen Tor or Odin? Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. What happened to him? Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it. God, that really does sound like a conversation you'd have with old people, doesn't it? Away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. He's a patient. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dad's foot waggle. <laughs> Look at that, I know. <laughs> All right. Um, now I, I saw something. I saw something pop up about her having to do with the lunch boxes. Hang on. Uh, if we go back to the case board, yeah, she has the knit design I've been finding by the lunch boxes, but it doesn't seem like she's the one leaving okay. the notes. Uh, but progress is progress, I suppose. I was really happy earlier on when uh, it flashed in the bottom left that uh, Poets of the Fall are seemingly still involved with this. Anything good on? Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard. My pals, the Berkele Vikings. Were you in a band? band? Minak! No, no. Berkele, Satana, and Olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. 
but even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. So they're elusive even within their own walls. Uh, oh, great. They've got electronic locks. Yeah, seriously, though, this place is absolutely beautiful. I am unfortunately going to need a flashlight to navigate in some of these back areas. Good lord, it's dark. But if I didn't have stuff to do, and if there wasn't shotgun ammo just kind of sitting in the drawers... It was always the formula of these games. You'd walk around in a place, and then horror would come find you here. For the sake of these people, I hope that's not going to be the case, but I definitely feel like it's going to be. This must... This is Tor's room. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, she's even finishing my sentence now. Wow, absolutely laid waste to the place. More moonshine. Man. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Well, then they must have moved him somewhere. It's really disconcerting that she won't even tell me where he is. This is Donna's room. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Well, okay, but uh, while we're at it, can you get your grandson to call Pat? Oh, but we can't seem to... Oh, wow, Lady... Lady was planning something. Yeah, yeah. There you are. He was drunk and watery. Uh, the sea of, something more serious? The sea of night. To drink from the cup of the wise one, for wisdom to be a seer, I gave up my eye, in the light of the moon to shine and see, the many worlds to madness and beyond, across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree. I gave up my eye so many times, we have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before, and will keep on meeting still. Where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimir to drink from the Well of Wisdom, the Cauldron. 1976, I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988, he who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be rid again. Oh, please stop speaking to me in riddles. Are you conscious? Can you hear me, Odin? Wow, he is not doing well. Odin Abison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. But I guess we can just uh, literally put words in his mouth. Saga, your intuition is either your best or worst trait. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. 
We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? So, whatever ability we have, so too do they. It's not just intuition. I'm starting to think they really are the old gods. But there's so much more we can learn here. I'm impressed. We're learning so much in this episode. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. But apparently the FBC doesn't yet. That's our in. The fact that we know them and they're totally off the FPC's radar. It seems them staying away from the cult has been a good thing in multiple directions. They arrested Alan, they arrested Ilmo. Now we've still got to get them back one way or another. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. I don't think I haven't noticed that every time, every time it uses that camera angle, it's like the deer in the back of the mine palace is acting as our own horns. I've still yet to figure out how that imagery is significant, but the cult don't just... But I'd really like to know how the cult came to know about all this stuff. I mean, clearly they know that Odin and Tor have insight. And they're learning that we too have insight. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer. Never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him. And then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. What happens if one of these people becomes taken? I mean, an Anderson, that's gotta be more powerful than your standard fare, right? Oh no. The fact that so much time has passed is actually an integral part of the story. The fact that they were keeping this together and they just can't hold on anymore. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. It seems more and more likely that Wake was always a projection of Tom. 
But I'm sure we're going to be learning a lot more about that if Cynthia Weaver is actually here. All right. We've learned a lot, especially since we're not the only ones in this headspace anymore. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Maybe, but he is the one that put you in this situation in the first place. Well, thank you. Even in your hungover and injured state, you've been way more helpful than most of the people we've spoken to. It couldn't possibly be right. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? That's the thing, it's just impossible to know at this stage what's been written this way, what's always been true, whether there's even a difference. The light bulb had blown. Meant to replace it days ago. There she is. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. They... They had said not to trust her. Cynthia Weaver taken. Very old. The government I built shouldn't a interrupt here him. during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. You're, Ever since they sealed you're broadcasting from here now. It's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it, ironically. I I'm believe. sorry for leaving you defenseless in the event of what's about to happen. Vapes and electronic Ooh. cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is. <clears throat> so, the teens would drink there, do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for Can't you to at home. But the bunker has well, a tendency to flood, especially wait, during the, the bunker. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesberg, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and, and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. Folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, t teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist, I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for five years, and in that time, I have never heard Nora's singing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. Well, uh, you know how these games like to foreshadow things that are coming. And you know how much the Dark Presence likes to utilize the local ghost stories. To find the key. Yeah. Okay, well... Actually, what we really need to find is Tor. Uh, and a deer. That's a good deer. Still yet to find out what these actually do for me. Well, I'll have to once again head upstairs. Oh, look, we can actually see how leaky and old this place is. I've actually just noticed there's a bucket right here that doesn't seem to be doing much. Uh, that doesn't get fixed. This place won't last long. These environments are gorgeous. I mean, <laughs> please, Remedy, just make an Urbex game on this engine. Uh, they've got some insanely talented and ambitious artists working on this. I can't believe it's running as well as it is, to be honest. 
These... A lot of weaponry you keep in the reach of unstable old people. And that story about the bunker, it does seem to be personally affecting Pat, like, in a big way. Yep, well, she's the one responsible for the charms, at least, if not the lunchboxes themselves. Uh, Norman and Cynthia's room. If we go into Cynthia's, we might be going into a fight. You got anything for us? Seriously, I'll take some ammo. Considering, you know, you all seem to be packing. And hers will be locked as well. You know what? Probably a good thing. That door bears that symbol. Is that actually the same one that we saw on the door to the study in Alan's Dark Place apartment? Getting in is forbidden. For your My safety. god. Time is long for those who wait, but in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Uh, so nothing more you can tell me, huh? I mean, <laughs> it's pretty awful that only now we're learning you're not actually a janitor, considering, well, if you were, you'd probably have the key card. Look, the stair lift that wraps all around this thing. I've never seen how these things would deal with multiple floors. But according to this, we've just got to talk to Rose. There you are, just the woman I was looking for. Why didn't you mention Tor was hurt? Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Yeah. You said I'd been here before? You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. These facial animations are incredible. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay. I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Let's go, then. Uh... Watch out. For puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Hurt yourself in the dark and in puddles. Well, you'd know, wouldn't you? Now, last I looked in here, it was totally dark inside. Why are you keeping your injured in there with no staff to look after them? You can get a map of the place right here. Board reception, examination, patient room, rehab, dining room, dispensary. Oh, I see. This is the medical building. Dark. Empty. Be ready, Saga. Why would you leave it like this? Why would you leave him here? These places are spooky and depressing at the best of times, but this is so much worse. No, you don't have to close the door like that. Is 
So where would he be? Something tells me we're not going to be able to open these. Nope, not without a key card. And we can't read the forms here, but that does seem to count as a safe haven if we can get back there. How did I know? Tor? It's Saga Anderson. This is not good. This is so not good. Anyone here? They've actually done it. <laughs> Much like going upstairs when we first arrived at the Birdleg Cabin. This game is actually made walking into the dark to investigate the spooky noise work in the medium of gaming. Another page. This information could be critical right about now. Poor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken, but the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. I really hope that... I can make that the truth, that I am someone who can help. Of course, hospital ghosts are a bit beyond my expertise. I mainly deal in Taken, totally different thing. 12 gauge might help with ghosts, we'll just have to try it and see. This counts as safe haven. Doc. Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked out on the floor by the phone. Burns on hand and cut on head. Was out cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is... Up? Tor was here. Oh, he is VIP. He's hurt pretty bad. But he tore off his bandages. Why? Well, we knew he was loose in here. Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? He doesn't seem to think so, but what good is that? Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Divide and conquer. Once these guys are gone, the main protecting force over the town is gone with them. They're so much more important than I thought, and we knew they were important. This way, then? Must be locked from the other side. So we've got to find a way around. Nothing. Rehabilitation. Well, you know, he would go here, and the door is open. Tor? Well, he was here at least, but that no longer seems to be the case. I was so excited too. I mean, I'd really, really like a happy ending on this, but this is the sequel and things have to escalate. Left through the cafeteria door. This is like a like a fitness center or something. Well, I mean it said rehabilitation, but like more specifically. Oh! oh come on. Wow, even you're pissed with this now. 
And yet they still put it in. The store must remain unlocked during business hours. Thank you. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Remotely? Alright, well, what can we do here? Maybe if we go through here? I wonder if these mirrors don't, like, only work if you turn on ray tracing or something? Well, at least we've managed to get back out into the hall. Seems even prior to the flooding, just a slow drip of water requiring the use of shop vacs is happening all over town. We haven't been in here yet, have we? Can't help but be reminded once more of Resident Evil 2 Remake. What have we got? Uh, more bandages and more bolts. Let's just appreciate this for a moment, shall we? Well, once again, moments like this, you really have to appreciate the power of lighting. Uh, this game is so well paced, so well acted, such a good story, such good environments, it makes it feel like you're actually playing a horror movie. I mean, this is the part most games avoid, right? The part where we're just wandering around in the dark looking for what we're looking for? Security room. A security computer. Maybe we can learn something from this? Did I just see movement out there? Was that just me? I don't know. Needs a password. Uh. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. I adore your attitude, Saka. Uh, Vladimir Bloom, you've been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon, as is tradition. The cult of the tree welcomes you. Oh, he was part of it as well. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. And one of them's in custody. Seems like practically everyone's involved at this point. Uh, hang on. Uh, August 15th. Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I'm one of the gang now. Dasvidanya to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about town, Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate this month. Everything will change. Uh, I love how he even uh, reverses the date like that and, you know, writes it wrong. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. It smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Hmm. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Okay. Is that maybe relevant to figuring out that he's the one that left some of the notes that were around? Hmm, it ties in to computer password. Uh, so maybe we can figure it out from these notes? Hang on. Uh, there's gotta be- there's gotta be something. Oh, wait, the calendar. Let's see. So, uh, May 5th, full moon. Yep, May 12th, third quarter. New moon, first quarter. All of this stuff. Okay. So, the date will be... Wait, um, I keep accidentally hitting tab. The day after the next new moon, as is tradition. So, if we look over here... Uh, hurrah, my acceptance... Um, so as of August 15th, it's the next, the day after the next new moon, after August 15th. So it'll be August 17th, then. August 17th. So how does that translate to a password? Uh, I, hmm, how do we get that numerically in a six-digit code? Also, is that a subtle reference? August 14th, written this way, is 1408? 
yeah, I, I mean, I see what I'm meant to see, but I don't see how this translates. Let me look at the pupper. How this translates to a six digit code. Maybe we add the year. So maybe it's zero eight seventeen twenty three. There we go. All right. Well, let's unlock that door for better or worse. And the doors are open. All of them, huh? Well, that's potentially real good for us. That will open up a lot of avenues. Will it potentially open the ones in the place as well? I am hearing a lot of noises. And it looks like night has actually fully fallen outside. That's not good. All right, but uh, our first duty is to is to tour. We've got to find him. Nope, nope, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What are you? Okay, well, you're gonna die as soon as possible. Wow. Not good. You just phased right out of reality. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh! I get it now, it's like... Oh god, uh, and you're throwing stuff. It's like you're, uh... It's like you're wading through water that we can't see! Ow! Okay, we need... We need you to be more dead. Oh, look at that thing. It's only the appearance of... Well, I mean, you look like you're walking on hands. But it's only the appearance of double! Uh, get off of me, please! Look at this thing! Okay, uh, shotgun, 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 shotgun. Can you even die the way I think? Well, we have a new contender for the most horrifying video game enemy I've ever seen in my life. Uh, especially how when it grabs you, uh, it, you're responsible for the mangled face staring back up at you. I know it's just like a performance thing, but I really hate it when they disappear when I turn around like that. Oh my god, it's just a standard enemy introduction and it gave me a freaking heart attack. That is so creative. It's appearance though. Okay, so we can get two with one. They did not want me getting through. That guy had a lot of health as well. Maybe it's just because that was his introduction. Wait, what does that say? I can't get a good look. Uh, it's nothing. His hammer is bloody. This must have been Tors. Oh my god, stop doing that! Cynthia Weaver. Any reason why we'd check back here? I'm oh, sorry. Or 12 gauge. I'm certainly going to need it. We certainly left a trail of destruction, as he's known to do. Wait, was that Rose? Is he entering the overlap? Damn. And as usual, it seems like she understands, but doesn't take it as seriously as she needs to. He's gone into the overlap taken by Cynthia Weaver, who is herself taken. What was that? 
Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. She's not just a fan, she's an acolyte. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? I get the feeling that this Cynthia is going to be the guardian of this part of the overlap. Well, let's do it. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. Are you the one leaving the I lunchboxes? I there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget... Here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Was it Wake, though? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Perhaps just like the record we found in the bathtub? Alright, well, we'll do that, but there's more to be seen. Doors wide open, someone just went outside. Uh, is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Archie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Uh, such typical old people. Have any of you noticed anything odd? About Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life, and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, um, I'm gonna vouch my agreement there. I think it's better if you just stay here on the porch while I investigate. Now that I have the key, I'm gonna go upstairs and try to unlock some of their rooms, including Cynthia's. Another manuscript page. Uh. 
Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Who's that? I can hear someone calling out. It's him. We really can't push you outside. It's not safe here. You're more vulnerable than ever. Not even, not even a prompt to interact with you. It's saying we have profiling options still, but I, I want to see what's upstairs. I don't want to accidentally push something forward. Oh! Oh my God! But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. I mean, I certainly Thanks. understand that, but... Uh, to be honest, the reason I followed you is because I thought it was going to pull a thing where, like, you're not here when I look beyond the door. Well, no power, no electronic locks, which seems extremely hazardous. But I guess now we have no choice. How do we how do we access this basement? Hello, Yako. Looks like another perfect morning. I keep hearing really weird noises. Uh, this must be Rose's office. Be my light in the darkness, Rose. Uh, look, Rose, I get it, but there's more important things you have to be looking out for. I was wondering if you could help me. We'll serve you pancakes. You were my muse all along, Rose. Naughty Alan. Naughty Alan, huh? Let's turn this page over. Well, articles about him. And articles about his disappearance. Another one of those lunch boxes. Yep, that about confirms it, doesn't it? You are strong, successful, confident. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? It's always been a chicken and egg thing with this game. We've got some more Odin profiling to do. Page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Plausible, but... And maybe that's just you learning more and becoming more accustomed to the revision. Alright, well, uh, according to the map... Uh, according to the map, the way to the basement is outside. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. 
And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. It's just real nice to get to talk to you. Oh, wait. Look at your hands. Are you injured? Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Well, if you say so. I'm hearing noises. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And they're emerging from the lake. Some of the missing residents, maybe? You're still standing. Come on. Our health is low. All right, we need to just oh come on. We need we need to heal. We need to heal. Get back inside. That's right. Get back in our sight. We gotta remember that uh, distance doesn't seem to be any object to the to the light. One down. Come on. Two down. Good shooting, Saga. Well, now there's less monsters. Well, you say that. There's our basement entrance. And despite all the fines, we are running low on 12 gauge. We should maybe save it for if another one of those things comes by. Is that. Wait, is that the driver? Yeah, this can be nothing but good. Yeah, that's Shit. what I thought. I need to get the power back on. But he's just been straight up murdered. Not even taken. Key fob's no good without power. Stuffed Raven. Sad to see the loss of all this equipment. Uh, this is either gonna be so either something here with us, or it's going to be a gauntlet coming back. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. Keep looking. Uh, of course, it's always something. Maybe there are spares nearby. It's always something. Some more nine mil. Are you gonna give me some more twelve gauge? Must be locked from the other side. Cool. I mean, that's awesome. It's good that that's happening in our lives. The creepy flooded basement under the creepy old haunted house. Where a bunch of creepy old lunatics live. What's the worst that can happen, right? Rose, spare fuse is now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Yeah, this poster knows what's up. Thank you. Alright, just keep looking around. Just push forward. Just press W. This is one of those times. We're finding manuscript pages, and I don't want to read them to break the pacing, because I've already been recording for so long. Well, we could crawl through here. Oh, this is the worst. Oh no. I can hear it moving all around me, whatever that is. And, you know, unlike before, in the first game, there's actually a really good mix of indoor and outdoor environments. 
uh, House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Sane in Finland, and his partner Barbara Jagger, mm, born Baba Jacala, have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside town, and the couple has already settled in. In his home country, and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected auteur filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Currently in the process of a feature entitled Tom the Poet, in conversation he comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel. The Ocean View Hotel. In the Bright Falls area, not New York. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree. A person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. And another one of these. Cool. Awesome. The power's off. Yeah. Uh, we've got a real Russian nesting doll of puzzles here. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. So taking that away, taking away her lantern was the worst thing that could possibly have happened. And perhaps guided. And we can open this from this side. Excellent. Now, how do we figure out that combo? Code is 273. Rose, if you see this, remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. Stop playing noises when I'm looking at notes. Stop it, especially after you already introduced the water-like enemy. Two, seven, three. There's our fuse to restore our power, to play the projector and enter those rooms. I don't like it when I don't have control of the flashlight in those brief moments. Uh, it was... I hear you. I can hear you out there. Save, save, save. Uh, fuse. Power on! Power's back on. But still not so much in the way of light. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? This is bizarre. A, a silent film. And him arriving in the writing place. For being murdered by the cult, seemingly at Wake's direction. I'm starting to think, I mean, not that it's a huge leap, but that this is all prophetic. But one question would be which Casey are we talking about here? Shit. Uh, I saw you there. I saw you. 
Well, with Rose's key fob, we can open this. Maybe gain access to some supplies. Yes. More 12 gauge and a flare. We're going to want to hotkey that. And more of this stuff. Let's get out of here. Just run on out as fast as possible. Admire your restraint game, that whole area, and not a single enemy. You knew that after all we'd been through, my mind was all that was needed for that. Okay, uh, back inside. And we need to, we need to check out the rooms we haven't been in. Okay, I'm gonna say maybe you folks should probably stay out on the porch for just a bit longer, please. That's right, you stay. You're leading us straight in. Gail was missing too, right? Another manuscript page. Let's just get into that room. That's what I thought. The leak seems to be the worst in here. Look at all these things left out, presumably to catch the water. All these lanterns destroyed and extinguished. Adam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? Uh, something like that. Her bathtub is full. Is she maybe the body that we found in the other world? Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. Into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Present tense. So that's how the that's how the dark presence got to her. By coming back in the form of Tom, presumably. For a very special woman. Tor's a romantic, huh? Oh, well, that's something. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Seems likely, Did doesn't she it? Know about the dark presence? I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. All right. Well, we still. She doesn't seem to have the record. Not even at the bottom of our bathtub. We can open this room now. No name on the door? Why would it have been left like this? Okay, yes, but you have the you have the key fob. Why is this not working? Her notes. The dark presence uses people's memories. Their fears to corrupt them. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. 
I can't trust Bloom to do it. He's too slow. But it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There's no more light, no more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Could do so much better. Where did his lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his, after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I forever. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. But it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment that was supposedly also his. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. Very notably, no punctuation at the end of that. You just stop. So, I, I was thinking that Tom was the original, like, the OG in Changing Reality. But it's starting to seem like that, too, can be altered. I I'd really like to continue this right now, but unfortunately, I'm all out of time. God, I just noticed that thing. Uh, this game is full of horrors, big and small. We're learning a lot now. We're definitely making progress. But we'll have to pick it up next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.